In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a PDCA that is plan, do, check, act, slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first uh, plan will come. You can see here, uh, you can add some detailed text here. When I click with a different color combination, the do will come again. You can add some detailed text here. Then comes the check and the act. Again, the cycle continues plan, do, check, act. And if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link i have used office 2019 version to do this if you're using the older version like 2007 or 2010 then some features may not be available so i highly recommend you to use the latest version like 2019 or office 365 so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the circle hollow, draw the circle hollow by holding the shift key. So you get a perfect uh, circle here. And then the height and width, you can make it depending on your requirement. Maybe I can make it 5.3, the height and the same width. All right, and then you can see the small orange point, you can reduce it or increase it depending on your requirement so i'm just going to put it maybe this much shape outline make it no outline then align center align middle now i'm going to cut this uh, circle into four uh, different objects for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle something like this shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some different color combination and the width i'm going to give is 0 0.03 you can see here it's very small then hold the control shift key together and bring it down so like this i have made it two here then select this one press ctrl d to duplicate rotate and you can select rotate right 90 degrees and exactly put it again in the center and again hold the control shift key and add it one more time here so likewise let me just remove the guide so you can, you can understand so here i am going to split this oval shape into four different shapes now what you need to do is you need to select all the objects or you can press ctrl a also go to the shape format merge shape and click on fragment the moment you click it it becomes green i'm just selecting this one delete that one and delete this part you can see here select this one and this one so now you can see here it's got four different shapes all right let me just undo this then the next part which i'm going to do is i'm going to add one arrowhead to add the arrowhead go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose this triangle draw the triangle maybe this much size shape outline no outline shape fill we can give some different color and later on we can change it and then make it rotate right 90 degrees and put it here so this looks somewhat bigger so i can just reduce the size a little bit and make sure that this has both has to if you give a gap like this it will be a problem when we do a merge so always make sure that this is properly aligned something like this all right then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to add it here then here i'm just going to rotate it you can see again right 90 degrees let me just zoom in and put it properly here align it then ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to you can see here again rotate right 90 degrees come here and again align it properly all right and then press ctrl d and i'm going to right rotate right 90 degrees and put it here exactly on top of this all right so you can see here i have made this design now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut this part also so again i'm going to select all these four shapes press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give some different color combination exactly we need to put it on top of that one exactly okay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this one merge shape and click on subtract so we end up getting a shape something like this can you see here again the same thing i'm going to do i'm going to select this one hold the shift key select this merge shape and subtract again we got a shape something like this 
all right now i'm selecting this one sorry i'm going to select this one and cut off this one and subtract it and the last part which is this one and this one and subtract it all right so you can see here i've got all four shapes like this all right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one and this one merge shape make it union this one and this one merge shape make it union this one this one again union this and this make it union all right so you can see here i've got four shapes of this arrow designs all right now once this is done what the next step is we can add the color combinations it's up to you whether you want to use a, a gradient fill or you want to use a one one normal color only so first of all let me just select this one right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to select a gradient fill now gradient fill the type i'm going to select the linear and direction whichever direction which you prefer so first stop you can see here i can just choose any color combination a light color here and then i'm going to give a dark color here okay then i'm going to choose the second one gradient fill now for this one i might take a, a light color here and then i can take some dark color here all right then again select the gradient fill here i'm going to make it maybe a light green with some darker green you can see here and then this one the last one it's i'm going to select this part maybe i'm going to choose uh, a light pink with some dark pink color all right so you can see here i have made a color combination something looking like this and if you want to change a background also you can select the gradient fill and instead of uh, the type linear select the radial and direction make it from the center and here i'm going to choose a white color and at the corners i'm going to choose some gray color and move it the white so you can see here uh, this is a gradient background now the next part is if you want to add some shadow effect also you can do it so go to insert shapes maybe you can select the same right triangle or just triangle shape outline no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency rotate it like this and you can put it here something like this you can see here just send to back and this one also just send this to back like that all right so like this uh, shadow you can add it for the rest of the options so once this is done you can go to insert text box and the first text which i'm going to type is plan all right make it a white font make it bold increase the size you can see here and go to the shape format text effects transform and select this one which is the arc okay and put it like this here you can see the small orange point you can just drag this inside and rotate it okay so this is a plan press ctrl d to duplicate this will be a do plan do check and act so here maybe i can make it center align if you want you can see here it looks something like this Control D to duplicate and this will be check plan do checked and act you can see here Control D and this will be a uh, act let me just align it properly So you can see here i have made plan do check and act and if you want to add some text the detailed text so go to text box and equals lorem within brackets one and then extra text i'm going to delete it you can give some gray color all right then press ctrl d this will the text for the check ctrl d this will be for act and control D this is for the plan 
so you can see here we have uh, completed this design and if you like if you, you can group this also select the the this one uh, first of all the text the arrow and this also i'm just selecting press ctrl g to group it this one and this one ctrl g this one and this one ctrl g and ctrl g all right so now what we need to do is a simple animation we can do it so go to the animations enable the animation pane first is the plan so if you want you can give a wipe effect you can see here a wipe effect maybe you can give from left so it comes something like this and then the text should come for that add animation more entrance effect i'm going to click on stretch click ok and stretch make it from right and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this all right let me just send this to back yeah then i'm just going to copy the animations go to the animation pane click on the animation painter and click it here so this is do again i'm going to select the animation here and this will be from the left now i'm going to select the do and click on check so the check i need to make it from maybe from top so it comes something like this and this one also and then the last one i'm going to click on this part and this will be from bottom and click it here and this will be from right so if i play now first plan will come then do then check then act so the simple way you can create the plan do check act slide 